Jalal Eddin, Episode 6. The people of Bolg are lucky to have been blessed with the wisdom of the Sultan of Scholars. And I believe that the wisest thing to do now, unfortunately, is to leave. Zayed Bohan, every single word that you say, I swear to the rays of the same sun that shines on us every day are all nothing but good. All the worries I have for my children and my wife and my family, the concern I have for food and life and comfort, they're all. They're all good reasons to leave. But Zayed Boran, something deep from within is scaring me, and my feet have become weak. Something deep within me. Something that I cannot describe. Will you take us with you, too? I don't think Father will leave you here. He won't just let you be. I like his face very much. Chalaladin, tell me, are you leaving Balkh because of the things my mother told your father? I don't know, Gaha. Maybe. I got really scared that day when those thugs attacked us. I want to stay in this city and in this house too, you know. But you can't. No, I can't. Because the decision is made. Even though Father's face is still full of doubts.
Sheikh Sultan of Scholars. Is there something that we have done wrong? Oh, Sultan of Scholars, have we made some kind of mistake? Has the Sheikh lost hope in the residence of Bel? The Sheikh silences his sarcasm of our silence over the oppression. Genghis' army is destroying city after city and advancing. When is the Sultan's army going to retaliate? Never mind retaliating against the Mongols. More importantly, Zakir Zakiria is sending his men to terrorize the people. To kill the people. Then what are these soldiers good for, Sheikh? Forget about the soldiers. They're mercenaries who get forced to fight. We have to punish the rulers who force them. I'm a helpless man who sells barley. I have a shop in the bazaar. Just last month, the men of the ruler came to my shop and they took 300 kilos of barley to use as feed for their horses and they haven't paid me until this day. No one will get us justice except ourselves, so we have to do something. Think of something. We can't do anything by sitting. We have to stand up. Get up! Get up, people! It is pain that leads mankind in everything he does. It is pain that guides him. If the pain and the temptation and the love do not awaken deep in his soul, he will not do what he intends. He won't be able to do what he wants without that pain. Be it in this world or in the next. Swear to God that this square will be covered with the red of your blood today. Understand? And I hate pity and I hate mercy. Listen, people. Listen. There's a reason I did not speak today. And it was to demonstrate to the rulers and the thugs in this city that each and every one of you standing here has the loud demand of justice in their throat. I wanted to tell them with my silence. If today they silence me with terror and threats, what are they going to do tomorrow? with the fire of injustice that is burning the hearts of the people of Bulk. If you don't keep your silence, the blood that will be spilt here today will be spilt because of you, understand? Calm down. <coughs> Calm down, please. What I want from you right now, people, is to go home to your families and know that 
that there is no oppressor in this world that will remain in power for very long. Do not stay here. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see how well Kamal Adin's strategy worked out, huh? <laughs> Did you see how I got them to come out of their little holes for once? And how Bahadeen walked the path that he did not want to? <laughs> that is very true, sir. I am not overdoing it when I say you can teach the devil a lesson or two. The game that me and Bahaideen Valad are playing has reached a sweet part. <sighs> All that's left to know is which one will end up the winner. What I found out from the things that Bahaideen Valad said is that he's worried about the people of Bath, and he cannot just leave them here alone. And all the talk last night was like, like beating the air or carrying water in a sieve. What happened today is proof to me that the Havalad's words weren't like scattering seeds in a salt marsh, and that they're actually bearing fruit.
And doesn't that mean that what Fahad and Valat was religiously obliged to do has been achieved now? My lady, the people of Bulk which I saw today were like, like a big roaring river, rebellious but without a destination. Strangers in the yard. About four or five, behind the trees and on the other side of the pool, near the bench. Jalaladin! 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 Come here!
Mother, Grandmother. please. Mother, please. Lady Mahim. Lady Mahim. Mother. Oh, Mother. My dear Mother. <gasps> Oh, my dear mother. The companions went to their commander. He got angry at them and asked, What are you all doing here? They answered, Our presence and the numbers we have is not because we want to oppress someone. It is because we want to help each other, have patience, and we want to assist each other. We are here in solidarity. Just as when people gather when someone is in mourning, they are not there to prevent death. They are there to show their love and support and to help the person in mourning, to make him feel better and to keep fear away from him. Open this door. Mm. 
Sir, I was not involved in any such thing. I hate being involved in such despicable and appalling and bitter and stupid actions. So you know as well as me, and so does Bahadine Valad know, and I do not deny that I am completely against him, and it stems from his interference in how the city is governed. But still, I am your head judge, and I was appointed by Sultan Mohammed Khorazim himself, and I was in absolutely no way involved in anything that he says happened last night. There must be some good behind what's happened. Anyhow, the great pain that you have suffered, O oh, Sultan of Scholars, I share your grief and your pain. But I'm sure there was some wisdom for it. I don't think that you paid attention to what I was saying, sir. What I've been saying from the beginning is the injustice and cruelty that the people have suffered throughout history has gotten worse. From one Sultan to the next, it just gets worse every time. It is the story of a river of blood which flows from the wounds of these common people. What am I to myself? What is my pain going to solve? This sheik of yours is turning the words against me so that he can belittle my words to make the suffering of the people something they brought upon themselves. I meant no disrespect, sir, but this cannot be ignored. This Bahadine Valad deserves to be punished for what he just said. He called the great sultan an unjust ruler, and that is completely unacceptable. Shh. Uh, I have a lot of experience, O oh sultan of scholars. This drum of justice that you are beating on and you're preaching to the people against the sultan is unfortunately nothing but this. It's been a while since you have lost the great turban you once had, and the income that you once had has also decreased a lot. Your words are no longer cherished by the people. The same people who have always treated your words as gold in the past. Calm down, Sheikh Kamal Eddin. Please try not to be disrespectful. I would like to ask Sheikh Kamal Eddin to leave me alone with the Sultan of Scholars for a few moments, please. <sighs> Don't be upset with the things he says. I am sad to hear, and I am truly hurt and upset about what has happened to your family. But please, Bahavalad, I am begging you be careful and do not welcome a standoff with this deceitful fox of a man. He has no faith in his heart, aside from faith in position and power. I will not hide it from you. Not even I am safe from that man, and neither are you. Your life is in danger, too. Bahavalad. Throughout all these years, I have always known what you say when you preach. I cannot hide it from you. I cannot hide it. Your words would resonate with me and excite me. It was as if they were my own words. It was as... as if I was hearing all of my own unspoken wishes, but... They were coming out of your mouth. When I was still a very young man from a faraway village in Kiev, I started to serve the sultans with the intention of serving mankind. Half of my precious life I spent at war and the other half within the walls of the palaces and the citadels. And this is how the sultans granted power to Zakhar Zakaria. But also, 
at the same time surrounding him. And this meant that I never had the chance to look into a common man's eyes. The same ones that I left my home to serve. And now... I am afraid for me it's too late for any kind of meeting with him. Bahavalad, you have scattered your seeds in this land wide and far, and I truly believe that the time for you to reap what you have sown is very near. But listen to what I'm telling you. Pack up your things now. Take your people and go to another land and awake the others that are still asleep. And I know that there are still many that are asleep across this land. Be very wary of Kamal Eddin. He is an evil man. I have, I have always loved you dearly in my heart. And I will, till the last breath I take, This makes four, one zero. This makes five, so one zero. This one two, two zeros. Hey, 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 hey. Okay then, Kaka. <laughs> Here. to last until we reach the next town. Don't tell me you're trying to compare the chickens in both to the chickens in other cities. No. They are totally different. And I got them for pretty cheap as well. Get the horses ready! Get everything ready! We are ready to go! Get ready! Get ready to go, people! Get the caravan ready! Get ready the to go! The caravan is getting ready the to go! The come to say goodbye. Sheik Fayas. <laughs> Sheik Tayeb. Sheik Zaid. Sheik Shayek. I'm sorry if the rulers and their goons used any of the words I spoke to create problems for you during all these years. Please understand, this was not my intention. Your words were nothing but blessings, and the things that came to be because of the words you spoke. That only ever added to your already great stature among the people of Belk. Keep an eye out for anything. Go ahead and speak. I don't hide anything from these two. I have good news, Sheikh. Bahavalan is accompanying a caravan with his family. They're leaving Balk. God help you, Nasir, if you're lying. Did you see it? Yes, I did. They are there right now, near the gates. They are getting ready to leave. Huh. Let's leave what we were speaking about for later. I don't want to lose the opportunity to come face to face with Bahavalad. Let's go. I believe you will pass 
passed through Nishapur on your way to Baghdad. Hello. Please pass along our greetings to Sheikh Farid Din Atar when you get there, and tell him that Tayyir is still waiting for a copy of the Mukhtar narrative. Of course I will. been written by Abu Tahir Maimundi. Please accept this glorious present coming from an ordinary follower of Balk Sultan of Scots. I wish we'd known what kind of bulk we would have if there were no sultans of scholars in it. A bulk that's poor and destitute, a sword in its scabbard. <laughs> You've gathered for a meeting of the great. You've all gathered round, I see. A city that has someone like you as its head judge and is without a sultan of scholars like me, will have people who will take action faster. When I look around here, I don't see anyone who is taking action. But luckily, the one who got the sultan of scholars in this caravan knows himself how to deal with these actions if they do arise someday. Say hello to the people of Baghdad for me. I hope the people of that land know how valuable you are. The people in bulk were so disloyal. <laughs> Sheikh Kamal Adi. You'll be thinking a lot about the things you've just said. When you realize what happened, but it'll be too late. And take a good long look at the walls and doors of the palace of bulk, because you will not be there very long. Fear the vicious Mongols that are on the way and the pride of the people of Balk, who have always been nothing but kind to me. Oh people! Oh people! Shame on the 80 years that I have lived, and shame that I now have to be a witness to what has happened. Shame that I now have to be witness to the beating of your great Sultan of Scholars. Shame be upon all of us present here. Oh. Curse be upon me and upon the city of Belk, the city that I was born in, where we were silent while the enemies of knowledge and religion did what they wanted to. Yeah. 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 